Hey guys, so my name is Tony and you are? Hi, I'm Dongjun. So today we will be talking about in this video basically about how does the market of soda and fruit actually is now in US. So what we learned in the article that we read is simply that Apparently, because USA, USA government realized that there's a serious unbalanced market consumption in the fruit market and the soda market, in which right now people are drinking too much soda and eating too, sh too few, too less fruit. Therefore, to solve this problem, they actually have put subsidies on the fruit markets while they put taxes on the soda markets. So here are some terms to know, I guess, don't you explain before we actually start our true explanation of what's happening in the markets. Do it. So subsid um uh, I'm gonna explain the terms that is written below. For a subsidy is a payment or money grant to suppliers. This works as an incentive to produce more and also lowers costs of produ production. And next, tax. Tax is the money that the government charge on the suppliers on every unit they produce. It is also known as indirect taxes um, and is added to the price of the good. Lastly, equilibrium. Equili equilibrium is the cost in the market to balance the quantity demanded and quantity supplied. So it is actually balancing no excess demand or supply. So let's see how does the government affect the soda market in the, both the supply and the demand when they put the tax on. So let's just look at the original blue curve for the demand curve, which is the one that's sloping downward, and the blue line for the original supply curve, which is supposed to be S0, but sorry, I forget to actually put it in. So this is these two are the original way that the market is already in, original state that is already in before the government put taxes on. So let's suppose that at price P0 per can of soda, they can the suppliers can get them to sell like in Q0, Q0 cans per month but now things have changed because when government put taxes onto the sodas they will have to the willingness of the soda market suppliers to give us soda will actually decrease the reason why is because the more they actually produce the more they will have to actually pay to the government because according to the definition every unit they produce will have cost them to pay to the government so then they'll be less willing to actually produce soda to the market but then there's going to be a problem of excess supply the situation in which they won't the suppliers won't be able to meet the amount of demand the quantity demand from the consumers because the number of demand exceeds the amount that they can possibly offer maximum on the market so then they come up with the solution saying all right let's raise the price up so that they can actually find a new equilibrium in which they can actually now sell at like a fewer amount but yet they still can get what they needed so I'll introduce about fruit market you can see the blue original line from the diagram and then if the government prov provide the subsidy to the market um, the demand and supply curve oh I mean supply curve goes right because the quantity of the fruits increases so and due to the help of government the price goes down so government got what they need which is health of citizens and citizens got health what they need so guys thank you for listening to our presentation thank you see you next listening. time in our video <laughs>